Well, the building behind me is where about 39 of the protesters of the Stop Galamse now were remanded into prison and police custody. Now, about 21 of them were remanded into prison custody, while 18 were remanded into police custody. Now, there's one who a bench warrant has been issued for her arrest because according to uh, the police, when she was bailed, the condition was that she appears before the court, which she failed to do. Well, one of the lawyers for some of the accused persons did indicate his displeasure with the ruling and vowed to appeal. Two weeks. But we are going to repeat the appeal again. We are going to appeal against it at the Human Rights Court. And we are sure that within some days we will have them released. Yes, that's because we were given limited time to have conference with our clients. So I'm sure with this, knowing where exactly they are right now, we are going to get their instructions and repeat the application again. And I'm sure it will be granted. We are not satisfied because the main person why I'm here is Felicity Nelson, and she has not been brought to the court. So we have to look for where exactly she is. And I'm sure at the coming days, if we can't find her, we'll bring Abia's proposed application at the court to get her to be brought to the court. 19 of them have been taken and 12 of them, their plea have been deferred to the next agenda because we raised the concern that they have not been served with the charge sheet. They only surprised us with the charge sheet at the courtroom. So we raised the same point and the judge agreed with us and agenda the matter for their plea to be taken. We are only disappointed at the number of days that they have been remanded and some remanded into police uh, prison custody, which is clearly not befitting of people who are protesting for Galamse. There were flurry of emotions when this judgment was passed. And even before this judgment was passed, when most of these protesters were being brought here to this premises, they shouted that they were innocent. Some called on the authorities to do something, saying that we should emancipate ourselves from mental slavery. Lead convener of Democracy Hub, Oliver Bakavomowo, is also expected before the court tomorrow. We will definitely be here to bring you all the fallouts from that hearing as well. From the Accra Circuit Court in Accra, Kenneth Jesse for joining us.